Valentine's Day falling on Sunday. Maybe instead of a fancy dinner, why not consider kicking off the holiday with a special breakfast? Food blogger Kylie Scales joining us now with a recipe for a sweetheart coffee cake and your sweetheart to send us one as well, which I'll be Aww, digging into you. later. Thank you, Kylie. Tell us about this. It's a, uh, a sweet yeast roll dough. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, so I mean, you can use a basic, um, your favorite dinner roll recipe if you like, or um, you can make it as difficult or as easy as you want. You can buy um, Rhodes sells uh, sweet dough in the frozen section, or you could even buy what I have here is puff pastry, or you could even do like a sheet of crescent roll dough. Like I said, as easy or as difficult as you want it to be. You're doing a great job. Uh, I have to wait till after the segment to eat it, otherwise you won't be able to understand a word I say, which might be a positive. Um, I'm just curious, <laughs> you talked about a little bit about the alternatives. What also about the different variations, maybe? What's yeah, so you can, uh, my personal favorite type of coffee cake is like a, a brown sugar cinnamon coffee cake, which is what I'm gonna sprinkle on this right here. It's just brown sugar, cinnamon, and some butter that I mixed in there. You can also do a cherry cheesecake might be nice if you do like a, a cream cheese mixed with some sugar and then some cherry pie filling, or you could even do like a Nutel Nutella. That would be really tasty too, but you can do whatever type of coffee cake you want with this just like the dough it's very easily customizable now, so that's I'm just sprinkling that on there and I'm leaving leave about when you add your filling leave about a quarter of an inch because we're gonna roll it up into a heart right now oh roll it up into a heart because I was gonna ask how do you make it into that perfect yeah perfect shape? so this is the coolest part so I'm just going to Ooh. roll this up jelly roll style here if you don't know what that it, just roll it up Sometimes people use like terms like that, jelly roll style, and then you're like, what the heck? Now I'm thrown off, but just roll it up. So just like that, and then you're gonna fold it away from you. So it kind of looks like a, a big burrito, really. Yeah, it does. And then, as you can see, I already have it on my baking sheet with the parchment paper, so it's ready to stick in the oven because it's kind of hard to transfer if you don't do that already. Then I'm gonna use a pizza cutter, and I'm gonna cut right down the center. And I'm using a pizza cutter so I don't cut up and scratch my um, baking sheet here. And I left about an inch or so from the cut ends. So now watch this. I hope you can see it well enough. If not, I'll hold it up a little better. But we're just going to fan these out like a heart. And oh. so you wanna fan them out a little farther than you would think for a normal heart because when they bake, it's gonna, you don't want it to be too close because it'll just be one blob. So you just fan it out like that, kind of shape this bottom part so it's more of a point. And you bake that at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then we have our heart here. So pretty easy once you know how to do it. It's a little uh, overwhelming when you first look at it, but like I showed you, it was really easy to do. It's overwhelmingly good. Uh, before we run out of time, we got about 15 seconds. Let's talk about the uh, the glazing that you have on this because yeah, it's good. Yeah, so all good coffee cakes are finished with a glaze, in my opinion. So I have uh, just a vanilla glaze here. It's just powdered sugar, a little bit of milk, and um, vanilla extract. You could do maple extract. That's what I wanted to do for the coffee cake I sent you guys, but I ran out of maple extract. So you may get a little hint of maple flavoring in your coffee cake. And so you just pour that on after it's cooled a little bit. Sprinkle some pecans on top, or if you don't like pecans, don't add those. They're not necessary, but they sure do look pretty. <laughs> yeah, just sprinkle do. them on top, and then you can serve this in uh, for breakfast on Valentine's Day morning. That's a great idea, Kylie, and it tastes very good. Even cold, it tastes good. I should have heated this up. Yeah. They, they took yeah. away my microwave on the desk because it's dangerous. Kylie, oh. <laughs> we, we appreciate it. This is a great recipe, and it's going to be on our website, fox59.com. Thanks again. Thank you.